Hello, open the heads. My name is Noel Bridge, and this video for Brenda Bridge, we are going to see in this quick video tip actually how to do holes on mesh. This is actually quite a simple uh, process. Uh, I want to show you a few ways to do it. The first one we're going to see is the one this can it's bundled with Blender by default, and I have grab other mesh now. It's quite easy, as you can see, I'm selecting uh, the edges of the one is going to be my hole. Now I'm going to press Shift Alt S, and this activates uh, this activates sorry this command to a sphere. You can found under Mesh Transform to a sphere. From this, it's fairly simply. Also, select the mesh, select the faces, extrude, a scale, extrude again and extrude again and extrude again why am I extruding so much? why so many again again and again? because when I add in this uh, subdivision surface my fire this is going to give me a nice round surface without the subdivisions this may not happen so it's not going to be nice this uh, comes um, by the hand of the theory of how the additional surface works. This is a uh, material for another tutorial. Now I'm going to show you a different method, also as simple as the last one, uh, or maybe even simpler. But for this one, we're going to need to have turned on a, at least one add-on. But I recommend you to turn on and keep and uh, keep always on two different add-ons. One is this F2 add-on that we're going to see in the, on the next example and the main one here is loop tools here you have it once you activate that, that add-on that comes from with Blender when you download it this uh, is no extra or nothing you always get it with Blender we're going to do more or less the same, select all the edges, but no, actually it's going to be simpler than that. We're going to select vertices, and not every vertex, only the center one. Why is that? Because now I'm going to W, specials, W, specials, on the keyboard, and I'm going to select on the lap, loop tools, the option circle. And as you can see, lap to, loop tools even uh, I can select the edges or and it will work as the last example or I can select simply the central um, vertex and it will detect the edges around and generate the circle why I am explaining this because here I only one central, um, central vertex but maybe I don't want this to be round uh, maybe I want and all these ones to be round so you must know that the central vertex uh, will turn around the surrounding vertices and, and edges but you can also select the edges manually and that also will work it's a great tool and um, you can control the roundness value and a few more options but it's uh, as I said it's actually more or less the same W circle with influence at 100%. Extrude, 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 extrude. Okay. Next example, as I said, is a quick tip. So if you want to repeat it later uh, or ask something on the comment box below at YouTube, I'm going to kindly ask any question answer any question, not ask. <laughs> I try to write better than uh, I talk. Now again, select the vertex, circle, tick 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 tick, extrude, extrude. And we have a hole. The problem with this is that loop tools flattens the hole. Now what happens if I want to a hole that goes with the circumference or the roundness, I don't know how to say, how to say the, the word, um, with flow uh, that flow with the surface of the sphere. Well, this requires a bit more of a, te a technique than a simple tool. 
rather than simple tool. First, I'm going to do first thing I'm going to do is to select uh, the faces that I'm going to that I want to uh, turn into a hole. I'm going to hit Shift D to separate them. As you can see uh, here, this is a new island of faces, and using Alt S, I'm going to push. I guess it's push. Uh, Alt S, Alt S, Alt S. Shrink flatten. Sorry. The vertices, the the faces away from the sphere. Why I'm doing this? Because it is com more comfortable for me to work this way. Um, you may have may don't want to do that, but it's all uh, your personal preferences. Now again, vertex circle. We have a circle, and now here's the extra part. Down here we have the snap options. This may be hidden sometimes, and you can bring it up again from this little uh, plus sign, or you may have it uh, on top or down somewhere. You should have this uh, header because every window in Blender has its own header. It's part of the interface. Now here we have a proportion edi proportion editing and this. Uh, option to merge vertex to take pictures of the viewport and in the middle of this uh, both uh, all of the all of this we have this option here this is snap properties snap options turning on the little uh, magnets we enable them and we want to select face and I'm going to play a bit about these two options. I'm going to uncheck uh, unche this because this is how it comes by default. Uh, now, if I move, what it's going to try to do is to try to set the closest um, point to the surface as um, a snap point. And this is what you get. You are moving all the island, all the chunk, all together to that point, like if this was a single object. In this case, may I may want to uh, select center because I want the center of this uh, this island, this chunk of of faces be the one snapping. This is quite useful for for many many uh, different modeling uh, situations. But in this case, it's not useful at all. We want to be closest and we want to have enable this option. This option enable the vertices in the individual vertices in the in the island in the mesh island to be treated individually so now when i move this will snap each vertex to a different place on the mesh below it this is how we're going to more or less control or uh, keep the the shape of the sphere now we only need to delete and move some vertices on the sphere. I'm going to keep out the snap and then um, shine this uh, patch to the next of the sphere. And here is where F2 comes into in handy. I'm going to select one edge, another edge, and hit F to to fill the gap. But I'm not going to do this with every single edge. I'm instead I'm going to select just this edge here or this one here and hit F and F F again F F F and that is what and it and that is what uh, F2 uh, add-on one of the options of the modeling options that F add-on F2 add-on uh, enable us pretty pretty handy actually uh, blender has is his own his own way to fill them but I'm not too used to use it because it came a few versions uh, after uh, f2 add-on so I'm not get too bound to that options but it also works fine from here again extrude 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 this is a bit round down there, so I'm going to loop tools flatten to make a flat surface, and here we have a round, or more or less round hole. Those that depends on the, the amount of uh, vertices to do the roundness. 
as we can say. Now we have this. Up to now we did holes on fairly um, even meshes, but now we have this. Actually it's not so complicated either. First we're going to more or less define where we want our hole. Second we're going to select uh, the, the faces and the surrounding ones. Okay. Tick 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 tick. Then we're going to extrude and cancel the extrusion to I'm going to extrude. You may not know what I am doing with right click, so we're going to do it more manually than I should. Once I extrude ex extruded without touching anything else. We're going to see this operant, uh, operant, uh, yeah, operant uh, option here that maybe also be uh, hidden. So little plus sign to unhidden, and this little value here, set value, which is back the extrusion vector, uh, we're going to set it to zero because we want a flat surface. From here, I'm not going to leave this like this. Now I'm going to scale. Okay, I guess you now are going to understand what I'm doing. And this extrusion gives us this night uh, loop. In this one, I'm going to control uh, control R to create a new loop uh, edge, a new edge loop. Sorry, and then I'm going to use again circle to generate my circle. Uh, let's go to select this. Let's do this a bit smaller. And as you can see, it's quite easy from here. Okay, let's see. There's a mass, extremos, extrude. Again, again, again. And there we have it. I completely messed up mesh, but with a nice hole in the middle. Okay, so this was um, a few different ways to do holes, 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 rounded extrusions on meshes um, of different kinds. This one, the sphere one, also works quite nicely on tubes, so keep it in mind for that. Um, and that's it. If you liked uh, this video, please give it a like on uh, YouTube, share it, and if you want to see more of this kind of video, please subscribe and let me know your opinion or doubts. Um, I guess this is all, everything. I'm not forgetting nothing, except the chain saw at the background. Yes, I've got Jason trying to chasing me. Uh, anywho, <laughs> see you in the next video. I hope you like it, uh, and bye.